Yeah. Read the manual, read the manual. We'll read the manual later. Let's see what this thing came with. Mm, that's the current sensing. Ta-da! Only one of them. Get the nameplate numbers for you, so you know what we're working with. Uh, uh. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering if that's like a manufactured date also on the on the number there. Alright, so there we go. Kind of expecting a a little more. Oh, look. All right, so I just pulled this guy down. Uh, last night I extended the uh, sensor, the current clamp, so that it could be wired a little bit more friendly. It was working. I went into the settings menu, reconfigured the uh, current sensing, came out this morning to check and see how things were going, and she fucking dead. And just real quick so we can see that we actually do have power. Oop, if I can get on to the, there we go, 240 volts, we're hooked up, line neutral ground. Going into that guy right there, through that guy right there. No dice. Unplugged it, plugged it back in, nothing. Um, I did notice something rattling around in there. So I'm wondering if a fuse popped. Either a slow fuse or a glass fuse. Um, so I contacted the seller. Of course I am, what, three? Get this unplugged real quick. Now we're safe. So of course I'm 13 days outside of Amazon's um, 90 day return. So I contacted the seller. They claim that there's a one year, but that's not written on the web on the page. That's only written in a question. Um, when I first got it, I tested the current sensing clamp out. It worked, but then I put this guy in its location that it was going to be in and the current sensing clamp wouldn't reach but it wasn't that big of a deal and then so I now that we're coming into summer and the panels are actually getting full usage I needed to make sure that I wasn't exceeding what my baterias could handle because this was also charging some other stuff this was all with an inverter off grid um, this is just hooked up that's why I was using this adapter. This actually is for my welder. Um, I was just using it to show that this thing won't plug on. See? No solar hooked up. No back feeding to the grid. That was just to test whether or not this guy turned on. I also noticed it claimed it was UL listed. Um, I... Oh, there you go. You can hear it kind of... Some, something rattling around in there. There you go. Claimed it was UL listed. I see no such UL listing. I see CE Rosh, which I mean, trying to export whatever. Okay, so it doesn't have the wrong lead in it. I don't see any UL listings. So I think that was also some bullshit. <laughs> 